As we've already learned, when you press Shift A, you can start sketching on top of a single Z sphere or a multiple Z sphere armature. By default, you're using the Sketch 1 brush. You'll notice when working with Z spheres inside the brush pop up, you have a whole new set of brushes which are dedicated just to Z sphere sculpting. As I mentioned by default, we're using Sketch 1. I'd like to talk about all of these brushes, but for right now, I'm just going to point out the differences between Sketch 1, Sketch 2, and Sketch 3. With Sketch 1 selected, I'll just draw a simple stroke across the surface. And you see we get a stroke that looks something like this. If I switch over to Sketch 2 and draw the same kind of stroke, it looks similar except for the fact that this stroke is slightly higher on the surface than our first stroke. And the same is true with Sketch 3. You can see that Sketch 3 is less embedded into the surface as the previous two. So essentially the difference between Sketch 1, 2, and 3 is how deeply embedded the Z-spheres are in the surface. Now I'd like to point out that if you take your brush palette and dock it over on the right hand side, you'll see this embed slider. This can affect how far each Z-sphere stroke is embedded into the surface. Let me just undo those strokes for right now. And I'll go back to Sketch 1. Again with Sketch 1, you can see we get a fairly embedded stroke into the surface. And you can see that the icon over here on the right represents how embedded that is in the surface. With Sketch 1 still selected, I can simply take this embed slider and change it so I can get less embed on the surface and get those Z-spheres floating on the sketch surface a little bit more. Other than using the slider, you can simply click on the icon itself and adjust how embedded your Z-sphere sketch will be into the surface. So you can switch between each one of these sketch 1, 2, and 3 and assign keyboard shortcuts to each one for easy access. Or you can simply use this diagram over here on the right or the embed brush slider to affect how embedded each Z-sphere stroke is on the surface.